one more thing we have to uh, specify is initial condition for the fluid cavity so we will go to predefined view manager create and uh, click on other so here is temperature and fluid cavity pressure so uh, I need to define these two okay so uh, let's name it temperature first okay click continue select the reason okay uh, so I will select the set okay reference point so since the fluid cavity is connected to the reference point so anything specified to this reference point will apply to uh, fluid cavity fluid uh, inside the cavity okay so uh, click continue and uh, others are defined and magnitude I will give 30 oh, sorry 300 Kelvin so it is normal room temperature okay so roughly so click OK and again click create and then other fluid cavity pressure I will name it pressure continue and here fluid cavity interaction select fluid cavity we have created this property earlier okay so uh, fluid cavity pressure 0.1 megapascal right so click ok so this is how we define some initial condition for the fluid inside the cavity that means air okay model right click on it and click edit attribute I need to specify absolute zero temperature zero and uh, universal gas constant that is 8.31 okay so okay we are pretty much ready to uh, run the first simulation okay now we will go to job module and uh, click on job manager create let's uh, name it it's job one model just uh, if you want to give some description let's uh, give first trial okay simulation okay whatever you you will write okay so uh, job type full analysis click ok and then if you want to uh, check data uh, which we have specified so it is a good idea to uh, check data and uh, then we will go so uh, let's do this data check okay here is something uh, we have not the following part or for distance the consensus limit not supported by a back is explicit okay let's go back to mess module and uh, mess element type okay uh, check here part and then again element type uh, okay the quadratic element types are not supported by explicit okay so check linear and then we will go now let's data check so uh, now it is running okay data check has been completed okay now we can there is no error so we can submit uh, the analysis uh, we can click on continue so it will continue the uh, simulation running the simulation right so let's uh, click on continue okay and we will see what results comes and whatever so so okay so this is how we create this whole simulation 
okay so let's click on okay